Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing three different looks using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I literally did not even look at what it was called, that's so awkward, I forgot. I keep thinking it's like something else. But I'm going to be doing these looks using only the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Um, I was so excited to get my hands on it, it was $95 so it's a bit expensive. Um, but I went to Sephora and I got it so I was really happy. But they still had some. I love the colours in here but you'll have to stay tuned to the end to see what I think about it overall and obviously you can get a lot of good looks out of the <laughs> judging by the thumbnail obviously that you would have seen. Um, but yeah I'm really happy with how all these looks turned out and I was so excited to use this palette like so excited. So yeah if you want to see how I did these three looks using the Huda Beauty palette then please keep watching. The first shade I'm going to be taking is Eden. It is this one right here. It is just a nice warm base to start the look off. Then I'm just going to dive into the shade Blazing which is just a really nice orange right here. Then for that main color I'm going to take the shade Saffron, which is this one here. It is a really a nice red. Then I'm just going to go back in with the brush we use for the transition just to blend it all out. And for the lid, I'm going to take the shade Turkish Delight, which is kind of like a more, well, it's just a shimmery version of Saffron. So the next shade I'm going to be taking is Cosmo, which is actually just a compacted glitter. So I am going to take glitter glue to apply this. I tried to use it without glitter glue and it did not work at all. Then just packing Cosmo on. Then next I'm taking the shade out. I don't really know how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, I'm going to take this on a dense brush and pop that in the outer corner on the bottom of the lid just to add a little bit of definition. It would really be nice if this palette had a black. It would have really completed it off. Then I just took um, Cashmere, which is kind of like this iridescent shade at the bottom here. I took that on my pinky. Um, just put a little bit in my inner corner. It didn't stand out too much, but that's what I did. Then I'm just taking some liquid eyeliner and doing a wing eye. Okay, so I'm back now and I'm just going to go ahead and do the bottom of my lashes. So I'm just going to take that saffron color, that really vibrant red, and run that under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a bit of that lid color and on a really fine brush just put it in the center, kind of mirroring the top. Then I'm just going to take my Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil in black and line my lower lash line. And of course I take some mascara to finish the look. Let's 
so for the transition I'm gonna start off with the shade Eden and just pop that in my crease So then I'm diving straight in and taking Amethyst, which is this stunning purple shade right here. And I'm just going to put that right in our crease and really build it up until it's a good color. Now I'm just going to take some concealer and cut the crease out. I'm going to take the shade um, Desert Sand, which is just a light shade there, to set it all down. So the shade we're going to use for the lid is called Twilight, which is this one right here. Um, and I actually had to put down a glitter glue for this because I tried applying it with my brush and it did not work at all so it was just no color payoff and um as soon as i went back in to fix up um the cut crease a little bit uh it disappeared so i'm putting some glitter glue down i didn't want to put glitter glue down but i have to so now dipping into twilight and trying to put that on the lid. So then I'm going to go into the shade Saffron, which is that red, and I'm going to put this on just the outer corner of the lid. So we're going to start defining it. I wasn't going to use the red, but it looked really pretty, so I had to do it. Then I'm going to go in with Oud, I don't really know how to pronounce that, but it is just a darkish brown. I'm going to go in and do a winged eye. So then to finish it off, I'm going to take that same shade we used um, in the crease, so Amethyst, that nice purple shade, and I'm going to run it under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to try and take some of that twilight color and put it underneath here, but I don't think it's going to work. Then I'm just going to take um, Neferity, I don't know, it's like a champagne color on my pinky and pop that in my inner corner. And of course finish the look off with some Lola Lash Mascara. Okay, so we're going to start off with the shade Musk, which is this one right here. It is just kind of like a really light brown, so I'm just going to use this for the transition shade. Then I'm going to jump in and take the shade Blazing, which is this orange shade right here. 
and you really have to build this color up because like I just really dug into the shade and there wasn't a lot of color payoff which is very frustrating but we'll work with it so just building that color up in the crease as best we can then I'm gonna take amber which is like a mid-range like burgundy red I don't know like a really burnt brown color um so I'm just gonna take this and start defining my eye so I'm only gonna take it on the outer half of my eye to start getting that definition then I'm gonna go down and take saffron which is this red shade well it's actually like a burgundy and I'm gonna put this on the outer corner I'm gonna take out, out, I don't really know how to say that one, which is a dark brown. Then for the lid, I'm gonna go in with Celestial, which is this one right here. It is like, there's two, actually, no, there's two golds. This one's kind of more on the yellow side, so I'm just gonna take this one and pop it on my lid. This one's really pigmented, so I'm happy I don't have to use any glitter glue with it. Then I'm going to take um, Neferity, which is that other gold, and I'm just going to pop that lightly on the inner corner, just because it is a smidge lighter. Then I'm going to do some winged eyeliner. So I'm going to take Amethyst, which is this stunning bright purple, and I'm going to run this under my waterline. I wanted this look to just be a little bit different, so you can see how this goes. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these looks. I could have probably done a few more, but I think I'm going to do some individual ones coming up on my channel. Just like one look sort of thing. Um, not too sure yet. Overall, I, I was trying to say this to my friend, but like, I like this palette, but they're all, all the pans are all a bit different. Like, you'll dip into like this one, which I've dipped into so many times, and it looks like no one's touched it. But then you'll dip into like these two and it just falls apart or like this one up here and it crumbles like there's no tomorrow. So some of them have fallout, some of them don't work. Like Twilight, you had to use glitter glue with and I didn't want to because it's like a wet consistency so it should work. Um, that's just my opinion though. So like I do like these palette, this palette, the colours are stunning but it could have been a little bit better, honestly. Um, do I think it's worth the money? Not really because it was $95 here, um, but like it is a really nice palette. The colors are stunning and as you can see, like I've already made three looks with this. You can make so many more. Um, so I think it is worth getting your hands on it. Um, hopefully, maybe I just got a bad batch. I'm not too sure, but um, I like it. There's not a hell of a lot of fallout, um, but as I said, some pans do have more fallout like sometimes I just had to hold it a bit further away from me so it didn't get all over me um I got a lot of the glitter on me I do think this Cosmo shade is really cool that it is actually real loose glitter I kind of wish Twilight was loose glitter too because I had to use glitter glue with it anyway um but all in all I'm happy with the looks that I got from it and yeah that's all I really have to say about this palette so if you do want to see more looks using this then let me know down below but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.